Hey everyone, I'm Traver and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to take a closer look at each of the rides at Universal Studios Hollywood. So let's get going. There are only 12 rides at Universal Studios Hollywood and one of them isn't even really a ride. But let's start off with the attractions with no height requirements. We're gonna begin with the ride that made Universal Studios Hollywood famous, the Studio Tour. This hour long guided attraction will take you through the actual movie studio lot showing you different sound stages actively being used for filming. Plus, famous backstage lots you'll recognize from your favorite movies. There are also a few indoor attraction style sequences like King Kong and the Earthquake Simulator. Because the studio is regularly used for filming, no two visits will be exactly the same. In the far corner of the upper lot is a kids play area known as Super Silly Funland. Inside, you'll find the Minion Silly Swirly Ride, which is a Dumbo-style attraction with no height requirement. There's nothing really special of note here. In the heart of the upper lot, you'll find DreamWorks Theater, which currently is the home to Kung Fu Panda Adventure. This is a fully immersive 4D attraction. It's more of a show than a ride, but it's far more complex than any other 4D theater you've been to. It's worth checking out if you have the opportunity but you can skip it if you're on a time crunch. The Secret Life of Pets Off the Leash is one of Universal Studios Hollywood's newest attractions. It opened on April 16th of 2021 and is a slow moving dark ride that gives you a glimpse of the secret life of pets. You'll be turned into a dog and pampered until you're ready to be adopted by an adoring family. It's a cute attraction, but it does come with a 34 inch height requirement. The low ride capacity leads to this attraction having some of the longest waits in the park. Over in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, you'll find Flight of the Hippogriff. This is a kiddie coaster with a 39 inch height requirement. It's a fun but short ride that will leave you wanting just a little bit more. If the lines are low, you should have no problem riding this attraction a couple of times. Back over on the other side of the park is Despicable Me Minion Mayhem with a 40 inch height requirement. This is a simulator style attraction that sees you as the guinea pig for a new invention that turns humans into minions so they can work for Gru. The ride is your orientation of sorts, but it quickly goes wrong and turns into a thrilling journey. Your ride vehicle will tilt and lean, giving you the feeling of falling or flying, but you'll never actually leave the space you're locked into. The Simpsons ride is also in the upper lot and is basically a more intense version of Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. It's also a simulator, but with a lot more movement. The ride itself is crude and terrifying for young children. I rode this attraction during my solo visit, but skipped The Simpsons with both my eight and five-year-old, despite them being tall enough for the 40-inch height requirement. Moving down to the lower lot now, Super Nintendo World opened on February 17th, 2023, and with it, a new ride, Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge. We rode it twice on a recent visit, and it's enjoyable enough, especially for Mario fans. It's a slow-moving, interactive AR game that sees you wearing a visor and shooting shells at Team Bowser to prevent them from winning the race. Going into this attraction the first time, I assumed it would be fast, but it's the opposite, really. This attraction has a height requirement of 40 inches. You'll be able to get the most out of this ride if you purchase a power-up band and connect it to the Universal Studios app. You can score points and earn stamps for each of the actions that you take on the ride. Right next door is Transformers The Ride 3D, also with a 40-inch height requirement. This is another simulator-style ride, but without the rocking motions. Instead, this ride vehicle physically moves from room to room, each with intense action scenes. I was a bit worried my five-year-old would find the loud noises and flashing images terrifying, but when he got off the ride, he said he loved it. My favorite ride at all of Universal Studios Hollywood is Jurassic World The Ride. This attraction has a 42-inch height requirement and is a boat ride through the Jurassic World theme park. You will get wet, but not soaked. There's a mini drop in the middle of the ride and that's the one to look out for. The huge drop at the end sprays water out, but not back at you. Due to the very lifelike animatronics, I was worried about my five-year-old. But yet again, he surprised me and loved the ride. The last two rides both have 48 inch height requirements. The first is Revenge of the Mummy, the ride, also located in the lower lot. 
This is a very fast, dark roller coaster reminiscent of Rock and Roller Coaster in Disney's Hollywood Studios. It starts out with a slow moving sequence with animatronics and transitions into a fast but very quick roller coaster sequence that does have backwards motion. Be warned. My eight year old loved this, but commented on how short it was. And finally, back on the upper lot is Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. The coolest part about the ride is the queue, as you'll get to walk through Hogwarts and see a lot of recognizable scenes from the movie. The ride itself swings you around as if you're on a broomstick, sometimes upside down, often sideways, and always rapidly. So much so that it can be nausea-inducing for some. Oh, and did I mention the sequence with the huge spiders? Well, that's it. All 12 rides at Universal Studios Hollywood. If you have questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Then hit the like and subscribe button for more SoCal theme park videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.